You talked a lot about awareness. Now, awareness is obviously, so with the awareness of hindsight and the awareness of being able to like, and you did this with your hands, like being able to rise above and see something from a higher perspective. How is that? How how would you, how could you communicate that? How would you explain that that's, how's that come about for you? I think the idea of, you know, as I was talking earlier, when I was unwell and it was so much energy was going into surviving, that you're so caught up in the moment, caught up in the thoughts. I honestly didn't think that there was anything beyond my thoughts and I didn't realise how many thoughts I was actually having and how much energy that that was chewing up and how negative those thoughts predominantly were. Mm. And then to experience stillness. Now, stillness is no motion and no noise, really. So we're we're still. And then in the stillness, there's space for the awareness that we begin to become aware of the thoughts and we become aware of our habits, our programs, our triggers and our reactions. And it's like watching ourselves. So we we are awareness. So I thought I was the thoughts until I started to experience the awareness. And the awareness is always there, but we don't drop into the stillness to become connected with this awareness, the observer beginning to, to notice. And in the awareness and in the stillness, our entire nervous system begins to calm down and we can actually begin to expand in different ways, expanding our minds, expansion of our heart, expansion, you know, our bodies just feel lighter and more open and we feel beyond that contraction and we start to look up and look around and see that there's just so much more magic to the, you know, the, the funnel and the, the tunnel vision that we've been looking through. So it's almost like, um, you know, taking off a pair of glasses that could only, we could only see right in front of us and almost magnify anything negative and we do that, as we know, is just purely from self-preservation and protection. And when we're in that fear, we can't actually feel into that, that awareness. And, it, and the awareness is where the power is. You know, that the, within a relationship, if I don't actually come from a space of awareness, I'm still in a space where I'm... I'm, I'm reactive and I'm looking at Steve with all the past stories and all the hurts. I'll just keep bringing them with me. But if I can actually come into the relationship from a greater awareness, a self-awareness, understanding me, understanding why something's making me feel uncomfortable, how I respond, how I am showing up each day. The energy that I bring is what it's all about. And, it, and it's, it's one thing, you know, no one cares if I'm a great meditator. <laughs> it makes no difference whatsoever. What I actually do when I'm sitting with my eyes closed, no one's gonna ever know and it doesn't matter.